Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back to the Designer Studio. Yeah, right, we are bringing this back, and not only are we bringing it back uh, video series-wise, but we are actually going to break it down to its own separate Brick Mania Designer Studio channel. Yeah, so you can find the link for that in the description. If you want to follow the rest of these videos beyond this inaugural one, uh, you can check out all of those videos now living on their own channel. So just go ahead and follow that link, check out the rest of the content that we have to produce there. Otherwise, let's dive on in, take a little closer look at this lineup. This is the Project Ukraine, the initial Project Ukraine right, lineup. First kinda, week, first week, relent. Kind of spiraled out yeah. from, from oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> on. Um, but Dan helped design the 135th scale of this fulcrum, and then we have some of the other additions as well. So here we are to take a little closer look at this, because this is the first time we've been able to showcase things like all the printing, the minifigures, yeah. everything that has gone into this lineup, which is, at this point is now seven weeks. Yes. Seven weeks of work. And, and they're finally starting to come off the production. Exactly. So some people have already gotten theirs in the mail. Uh, we're, we're working on getting the rest. They will be out shortly, and mm -hmm. there's still some copies that you can just order straight up, and they'd, they'd be shipping out within this week. So. Um, it's your opportunity, and we're going to try to keep these restocked often. So yeah. even if they do sell out uh, initially, we'll try to get other additional batches in. The need is great. The need is going to be ongoing, so we'll, we'll keep going with them. Yeah, and it's been really cool to see not only the community response, but just how fast and effective we've been able to streamline some of these efforts. But of course, this is a LEGO channel, and what we want to take a look at is these builds. Um, so. Man, looking at this printing, looking at this comprehension, where do you want to start with it all? Well, do you want to start with the 135th scale? Yeah, let's definitely start here. All right, well, let's, <laughs> let me, let me uh, pull the airplane off the, off, it, it's on this, this pedestal here. Mm -hmm. um, here, we can put the other ones up on the rotation. There we you go. You can hold on to the, uh, that one. <laughs> Get this close to the camera. There we go. <laughs> um, so what, uh, the one thing about this, it, it's, 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 it's a, a continuation of the design, the original design that we had, original MiG-29 that Cody Ocell built. Um, I took it and didn't want to reinvent the wheel. Mm -hmm. um, it was actually pretty close to what we wanted. So I just, I redesigned the wings, got them up to current standards, um, did, some, did some stuff here and there, built it a little bit more solid. We have a little bit bigger budget. And of course we went from st all stickers to all print. Yeah. So there's quite a, you know, it, it is from the inside out a completely different aircraft mm -hmm. uh, based on the original uh, dimensions and, and general shape. So wings completely redone. Look at that printing. I mean, that's like the most, the most awesome. Part. Oh, I could not believe how well it turned out, even on this smaller scale too. Just how right. well it came together. Very, very impressive. That that was something that we wanted. To, you know, the, all these these aircraft, these these MiG 29s that the Ukrainian Air Force have. They put it in this this crazy digital pattern. It's yeah. it's very similar to the original pattern, but they digitize it. So mm -hmm. it's it's unique to Ukraine. Um, printing on the wings, printing on the back, printing on the on the. Uh, the, the the tail here the there is actually a um, air there's a, a air brake on the back here and even the air brake top is printed, yeah so. all right um, and then you have you know of course you have printing on the stabilizers the only stickers on the whole aircraft are on the canopy there and then the optionals on the on the yeah side, these right? these yeah. kill markings um, but you also get a whole multitude mm -hmm. of different different markings that you can put on there depending on how uh, effective you've been right how how how, <laughs> how, how many how many kills your, your exactly, ghost has claimed exactly so th we're going to work on a whole separate video talking about the origin of the whole ghost of Kiev story um, that's something that we want to do in the future um, we want to continue this because it's actually a really interesting story. And yeah. as far as we can tell you, the ghost is real. The ghost is a real person and is still alive today. Mm -hmm. so and it's amazing how much, like, when that stuff starts to come to light, just how incredible. You think to yourself when you hear these urban legends, you're like, well, that's just an absurd story. And then you find out the truth behind it all, and you're like, it's right. just absurd as the legends. Right. I mean, we are Lego people. And we build Lego aircraft, but we also have a connection to the military community. So we do get some word out. You know, some of it's sort of secondhand, some of it's more firsthand, some of it we're not even supposed to know, but we, we find <laughs> these things out. So that's the one thing we can we can tell you that that we have, you know, we, we have we have people will 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 give us these give us the word that this is real and we believe it. So we're we're, we're going with that and we'll stick with that. Yeah, very very cool. So aircraft wise, I mean, it does come on the stand. Uh, the stand is just a classic. Love that printed tile on the front right. there too. Really it's, makes it's it look a, it's nice. A it's a classic Brickmania aircraft stand. We've been using it for years, and it's just updated for this 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 particular aircraft. Um, you do get all kinds of cool little play features with this thing. We do have the missiles on here. These are uh, air, Soviet air, Soviet era air to air missiles. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure if this is the right configuration. We were going with what we were we were told to, to put on there. Um, I've seen pictures where they have it with the other way around. That they have. Uh, Four of the smaller and two of the larger. Oh, interesting. So okay. They're the Archer and the um, Alamo missiles, respectively. Mm -hmm. so, um, you do have the mo moving uh, the flaps, I should say. Flaps and ailerons. Yep. Yep. So they, they all they all function 
Uh, Looks like they, they pose should. nicely too. They're not just like flipping around. All right, yeah, they're not loose. They're they're definitely sturdy on there. That's always important. <laughs> o- opening landing gear doors. Looks like we have lane, two two of the landing gear doors are actually or the, the the main landing gear, the front landing gear is deployed, but mm-hmm. not the rear. I pulled this model out of out of GHQ, so mm-hmm. <laughs> it's 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 displayed the way it was displayed there. Um, I could try to get one of these 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 landing gear do- to pop it on out. Right, without without like a, a screwdriver, it's gonna be a little difficult. But <laughs> <laughs> they're tucked in there, but yeah. functional. Yeah, definitely. Uh, let me get this door back on there. This is another reason to lead with the 135th scale ones too, because <laughs> as epic as the rest of this collection is, the 135th is where you're going to have those play features because it's big enough to integrate them in. Right, and you can pose it any way you want. Mm-hmm. Um, let me get these missiles. Plus, it's been on. such a long time coming. Like I've said, I think the initial announcement for these kits was somewhat like seven weeks ago, um, and then we turned them around, and, and pretty much as soon as Dan had that thing built and ready to rock, they were up on the website, uh, ready to move. And so now we're coming to fruition and actually getting to see them. Yeah, this is cool. In production. I, I actually, I, 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 I went down to GHQ yesterday to go uh, get look for some things, and I saw this on the counter. I was like, "Well, it looks, it's mm-hmm. done." I never saw it completed, so I was, I was super excited. Um, to see it 100% complete and on display. Oh, let's get that figure out. Too. Yeah, we'll check it out. We'll have landed in it a little bit to take a little closer yep. look at that bad boy. So you do get a, 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 a figure that is, to best of our knowledge, at the time that we put this together, mm-hmm. this, is, this is what we were basing on what the leaked pictures of the ghost was, and we were going with that. It was actually, Source material, right? Right, and, and we actually, there's actually banners of this of this guy yeah. hanging on government buildings and mm-hmm. stuff. So he's actually a, quite a famous... Uh, person over there as well so. inspiring the the morale yeah right right so so that's it for the the 135th scale I mean it's 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 impressive it's sturdy it has all the features that you'd expect um, and there's still some left if you if, if you if you could and support this this it's a great cause of support uh, every one of these that we sell generates uh, revenue that goes directly to support the refugees and victims of the, the war in Ukraine. Yeah, if you are not normally a Brickmania aircraft person, or maybe you're just not normally a Brickmania large kit collector person in general because of the uh, the investment that comes with it, this is definitely the time to break that mold uh, and pull the trigger <laughs> on something like that. Because that, it, not only are you getting an incredible creation, um, but you're doing a lot of good uh, right. at that same time. So. Right, and, and, and this is like the kind of the pinnacle. I mean, as, mm-hmm. as far as, it, it's, it's a solid build, good printing par- printed parts, and it's a great cause. So yeah. this is this is a, a top shelf kit for sure, uh, which is not taking away from these smaller guys here. No, so. not at all. I mean, the entire lineup itself is, is really really cool. So we've done this part portion before, um, but we haven't been able to see it with its new printing. So I'm going to go through the breakdown real quick. We're going to start off with Nathan Cragen's builds. So now remember, remember, this kit comes with the bricks to create this, but instructions to build both of them. Right. Understood. Only these bricks are included, but you get instructions to build them both. So the, the bigger one is 170 seconds. Right. So what half the scale? I mean, it, mm-hmm. it's exactly half the scale. Just about of the, of the of the uh, the, the bigger ghost. Yeah, it does have a little. <laughs> Check out that printing. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, printing on the wings. The the tail markings are actually brick built. Um, that's the same for both the 170 seconds. Mm-hmm. And then this is a one one to 120 scale. So that's actually micro brick battle. Right. Um, it's it's interesting because we've been adding all these. Uh, Ukraine benefit kits, and it's kind of taking away from some of our, our, our normal releases. We're, sure. we're, we're putting out less quantities so we can do the, the emergency, the war emergency stuff. Um, but man, are we going to have a backlog of kits to, to, to restock? And there's just so many more ideas. People are the community has really gotten together. So mm-hmm. uh, Nathan Cragen, which is a, a Brick Squadron, yep, on on Instagram, which you may know, um, he's actually done some stuff for us in the past. The X the X15, mm-hmm. uh, X1, 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 yes, he the did Bell the, the micro scale one of those. Yep, yeah, yep, not X15. <laughs> it's been a long, a little more older one. Yeah. <laughs> so these two, one you get both sets of instructions, but only the bricks to build this. Yes. If you build that, you get this. You're going to have a lot of what you need to build the other one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. If you just want to enjoy the instructions, right? Yeah, exactly. But you still will have to get your own bricks to, to do the to the micro scale one. Mm-hmm. And then to complete Four. the lineup, we also have one more. Sorry, right. I didn't mean to cut you off there. No, no, no. That's we got to um, we, we got to cram all this information <laughs> in one video. Hear me, so me talking. Moving on, we have NK Customs Nicholas Kramer. Yep. Um, his creation here. So this is more of a general micro scale. Yep. Um, it, it's it's a little bit smaller than the other planes that the other the other models, mm-hmm. but it has more to it. You actually you're seeing the the aircraft on its stand, which which is included with it. Mm-hmm. Um, it does have some printing on the wings there. Um, what you're not seeing is it does have landing gear that are optional. They're just they're yep. Just, they're Bricks just not, included. Yep. They're just not they're not there. So you, printing on the tail as yep. well. Yep. So you do have four printed elements on it. Mm-hmm. Um, 
And then, of course, the landing gear, which just we just don't have on this model. So we, we pulled this one out of a display case on the GHQ. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what we got. I love the creativity in this build, too, just at this scale, to have the, the missile firing and to even have, you know, the, the, the afterburners rocking. It's just really cool to see some of that. And then, obviously, the integration of the colors into the uh, display stand is really neat as well. So really, you can't go wrong with any portion of this lineup or the entire lineup in and of itself. We will, in the future, go through some of the other Project Ukraine stuff that we've done, but we thought that a good inaugural video for this channel and for kicking off the designer's studio studio return uh, would be with this lineup here as well. So is there anything else you want to touch on before we bring in Landon to talk about the uh, the ghost? No, because there's so many more there's so many more of these uh, Ukraine uh, benefit videos to, to, to go get through. To get yeah. through. Yeah, you don't need to hear any more from me. There'll be other the other designers, other helpers uh, they'll be that'll be coming in over the next few weeks and I look forward to seeing them. Perfect. With that we'll turn things over to Lando. All right, here we are taking a first official look uh, at the ghost minifigure included with this MiG-29 created by Dan. Landon, our minifigure artist here and uh, Um, checking out that 3D printed helmet, that's a brand new design. I think that is of a French origin. Oh, they also There is also a really iconic Soviet one that they, um, they wear as well. So, but we're just, we were just going off of the, uh, the first sort of images that came mm -hmm. uh, out. Um, so brand new helmet for that, brand new oxygen mask for that. Underneath that 3D printed helmet, since we don't know the identity, super secret. I thought this was actually a really great choice on your guys' part. Super secret. I wanted something kind of spooky and ominous, so or we that opted. Or it could be anyone. Or anybody, right? Mm -hmm. So we opted for this custom printing. Um, it's kind of a, it's a skull face, and then it has that silhouette of the jet replacing the nose. So this is based off of they have there's a patch that they were that uh, they have um, that just shows the the ghost. Mm -hmm. So, a little spooky face. 
maybe we'll get that printed in glow in the dark some someday. That'd yeah, be cool. who knows? This is this is not glow in the dark, but you know, one maybe maybe someday. All right, so that will do it for the inaugural return of the Designer Studio videos. Remember, these are going to be on their own channel, so you're going to want to actually look in the link of the description on this video, and then you will be able to find the channel that we are going to continually be uploading these because they will not be here on the Brickmania News Channel because this is going to be where the weekly sit reps, everything, continue to live. Um, so if you want some more information on that, make sure to check out our blog um, because we got info there on how the new breakdown of all that stuff is coming down. Because remember, we've got three YouTube channels now. We've got the News Channel, uh, we've got the uh, Designer Studio, and then we also have the Brickmania Reels, which is where all the animations are going to live. So it's going to be awesome. Looking forward to the, the facelift or the additions to the family, however we want to look at it, um, and more content to come. Anything else? No, that sounds good. Cool. Thank you very much for watching.